Hey guys, Andy here, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the overheating issue on my latest laptop, the Asus ROG Zephyrus G15. Coming up. <laughs> So yeah, there's definitely a lot to love about my new laptop. The time's recording, I've had it for about a week now. And while it's mostly geared towards gamers as a video editor, I really love this laptop specs. Uh, they cut through 4K footage like a hot knife through butter, and the render times are just out of this world. But the one problem I have with this laptop is that it overheats way too much doing uh, renders. So I did a little digging online and found that the G15 was fitted with some vent guards. According to Asus, they were to make the keyboard a little bit cooler during heavy load times. But uh, whenever this laptop would overheat, I touched the keyboard and it was like super hot to the touch. Like, you know, it was almost like scalding to my fingertips. So I don't know how effective those uh, vents are for cooling the keyboard, but uh, they're not really cooling a whole heck of a lot else. So I decided today, to uh, remove those vent guards. And just as a little disclaimer, this might void your warranty. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, if you decide to remove the vent guards, do so at your own risk. Just putting that out there. So, with that said, let's get to uh, opening up this bad boy. See you in the next bit. So yeah, here is the laptop. And one thing I forgot to mention as far as negatives about this is that it is a bit of a smudge magnet. But anyway, let's flip over to the back side. And if you look closely here, you can see that the vents here are blocked, whereas all the other vents are open. So all you have to do is just remove the little guards here and uh, we should see some performance increases. So let's bust out our handy dandy precision screwdrivers and we'll use Good old number one, right here. So yeah, here's the inside of the G15. And before we go any further, just to remind you that the screw closest to the window sticker doesn't come out. So you'll just have to screw it as far as you can and then just use a guitar pick to pop it out from there. As you can see here, we have the M.2 drive and then we have another slot for another M.2 drive, which might be a future upgrade. We got the battery, we have the, uh, the RAM right here. We have the two cooling fans. There's a Wi-Fi card. On this side are the two vent blocks. So all I have to do, take a little screwdriver. And then, there you go. And then as you can see, these little blocks, it's basically just a uh, piece of film here. And then just a, uh, a heavy metal grate. Then, as you can see, the vents are free and clear. And there you have it. So yeah, that's how you take out the little vent guards on the G15. And with that said, this is the Andy Sign. Sign up for now, as always, and forever. We'll see you next time. But you won't see these next time. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Bye.